Thank you for choosing Solar Cert Elements from Seaward. Solar Cert Elements has been designed to help you create client handover packs as required by MCS accredited PV installation companies. Solar Cert Elements can create installation reports, PV array test reports, verification certificates and installation diagrams as well as help you organise other documents that make up your client handover packs. This screencast tutorial will show you the main features of Solar Cert Elements. You might like to pause the video at any time to try out for yourself some of the features presented. Please note that this screencast is available from the Help drop-down menu or the Start menu. Solar Cert Elements comes with a 30-day free trial. Please follow the instructions in the pop-up window to unlock the fully licensed software using the serial number that came with the CD-ROM packaging or via email if purchased online. For now we will continue with the trial version. Solar Cert Elements comprises two main panels. The document browser on the left that shows your documents and folders and a main panel on the right that shows open documents. Double clicking on a document opens it in the main panel. By default the documents are organised as tabs along the top of the main panel. Selecting a tab brings a document into view. Alternatively, you may prefer to view multiple documents at the same time. Right-click the selected tab and choose Restore to view the documents in individual windows. These may be resized and tiled or cascaded from the window menu. Click the Maximize button to return to the tab Document View. You may want to zoom in or zoom out of a document. Use the relevant buttons in the Documents toolbar. If you choose to install the Example Client Handover Pack, you will see this in your document browser. Each item in the document browser represents a file on your computer. The root folder is by default created in the Public Documents folder on your computer. You can change this in the Settings windows here by clicking the Browse button. Navigating to this folder in Explorer shows the same document structure. As you can see, Solar Cert Elements shows all files and folders inside the root folder. Let's take a look at some of the file types in our example client handover pack. Documents ending with the extension SOL, such as SOLIR, and SOLVC are native types of Solar Cert elements and are opened inside the main panel. Other non-native files such as Word and PDF documents may also be opened by double-clicking on them. These are opened in the relevant application. Double-clicking a folder conveniently opens an Explorer window to that same folder. Note that the document browser keeps up to date with changes that you make in an Explorer window and vice versa. See how files and folders may be created. Files and folders may also be dragged between windows. Note that files and folders dragged into Solar Cert Elements are copied from their location rather than moved. As well as the document browser, there is a document search form. This form is similar to Explorer's search. Type in part of a file name along with any wildcards and see the found items appear in a search window. You may also search for text. Note that a text search is only performed on native Solar Cert element reports. For example, if I want to find all verification reports that contain the word Bob, then I fill in the form like so. Lastly, you may also search by time created or last modified, or by file size. If you take a look at the example client handover pack, you'll notice that it has a special icon. This is because it contains a checklist document. Open this document and you will see that it contains a set of checkboxes. 
when you add documents to your client handover pack, tick the relevant checkboxes. The checklist helps you keep track of the documents required for the client handover pack. Let's create a new client handover pack. Right click in the document browser and choose New Client Handover Pack. Notice that a checklist document is automatically created inside it. Let's also create a new inspection report, PVRA report, and verification certificate. Filling in a report is simple. Navigate to the field by clicking on it and enter the text. You may tab to the next field or select it with the mouse. Don't worry if you need to add lots of text to a field. The size of the text will decrease to ensure that it fits. On the verification certificate, signatures may be added by right-clicking inside the document and selecting Add Image. Then select an image in the file system. All major image file types are supported. Resize the image by dragging the border and move it into place by dragging the inside. You may add as many images as you wish. Right click and select Delete if you want to remove an image from the document. Finally, let's create an installation diagram. An installation diagram is used to draw a schematic of your solar installation. Let's begin by adding our components to the diagram. Right click on the page and select the components from the menu. Once you have organised your components, you are ready to wire them together. In the toolbar, there is an icon of a soldering iron. Select this tool, and then select the cable type. Single, DC, or AC. Let's begin by wiring the PV panels. Notice how the cross turns green when it has found a valid connection point. Click the left mouse button to connect the wire, and move the mouse to another connection point. You may click when the cross is red to leave a dangling connection and wire it up later. To move components or connections, uncheck the soldering iron tool and drag using the mouse. You may move or remove labels attached to components, or create labels on their own. Reports and diagrams may be printed or exported to PDF. Click the print button to show the standard print options. Alternatively, click the PDF button and select where you want to save the file. On Reports, there is a Save as Favourite button. When you make modifications to a document and click this button, then the next time you create a new document of this type, it will look the same. This is useful for saving your company details that do not change. You may also want to brand the certificates with your company's logo. Remove the Solar logo from the certificate and add your own image. When finished, click the Save as Favourite button. Now, every time you create a new verification certificate, it will look like this. All reports may be customised in this way. You may revert back to the original certificates from the settings window.